Morning all and welcome back. Um, yeah, forks. I ache this morning. My arms are bloody kidding me. Um, so yeah, when I was saying about this, uh, physically the hardest thing I've done on a bike, and I wasn't lying. Um, it really was. Right, um, so in result, you might be surprised to still see him silver or metallic or unpainted. I was tempted, I have to admit, to throw some black on there, but it's all about longevity really. Um, spraying of black would look good for a short amount of time, but they're forks. They get hit by stones, gravel, chips, etc. It's just creating an admin burden for whoever ultimately buys this just to keep um, sorting them out. So actually I thought, just clean them off. So yeah, not perfect, but hey, uh, it's a 1996 bike. It's never going to be perfect. I could have sat there and also sold them up to um, a mirror shine, but frankly, it's just not worth doing on a bike where uh, it's going to look out of place by them being too good. So yeah, uh, cleaned up a lot, um, uh, a lot better. So uh, I'm just going to wang them on the bike, um, uh, potentially get the wheel back on as well, see how I do for time, because uh, it is Father's Day and I don't really want to spend all of Father's Day hiding from my children in the garage. I managed to do that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, long day yesterday. Um, right, so I'm gonna get them back in, so I'll do them one, one at a time. I may film in between. Um, so same technique. Obviously they're pinched in um, uh, uh, fairly tight, so it's essentially, in fact, I'll show you. It's essentially screwdriver in just a little bit of pressure opens them up a bit. I might just give them a quick wipe out first, actually make sure there's not going to damage the fork. Uh, push them through, snip them in. Um, I don't want to do them too tightly to start with because obviously I've got to get the wheel in and make sure they're pointed in the right direction. So I'll get them in. I might just put the uh, bridge from the uh, mud guard on as well just to hold them against each other. Cool, yeah, back shortly. All right, so partially there, fork's on. Looking resplendent, 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 and uh, shiny, and hopefully not leaky, uh, but we shall see. Right, I'm going to try and get the wheel on because uh, we're not going out yet. So I'm going to try and get the front wheel on. Um, I think to stop them spinning, I might have to just chuck on uh, the brace of the uh, mud guard. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that now. At least they're holding parallel to each other. Alright, so there we go, only finger tight, um, just because it's going to hold the forks parallel. Um, so, yeah, tight enough to hold it on, no tighter. Right, I'm gonna grab the wheel and give it a go. Uh, in fact, while I'm, while I'm thinking of it, I did have a quick look at the brake. Uh, bearing in mind, this is quite spongy if you remember, so I was specifically trying not to drop it specifically looking at the uh, pads yeah big chunk out of that one so we're going to need new pads looking at the pistons themselves um, I might get away with it I might not so I think what I'll do is order some brake pads for it um, and then potentially next weekend it's certainly not going to be today um, dig the uh, brakes out of it I might get away with, uh, in fact, I should get away with not um, stripping it completely. I just want to pump those pistons out of it, give them a bit of a clean round and drop them back in. Um, yeah, it's not too bad actually, I was expecting worse. Right, I'm going to grab the wheel, see what I can do. Alright, there you go, really quick one. Um, that went on remarkably easily actually, a little bit of jiggery pokery to do. So because I've only got one 11, uh, size 11 uh, Allen key, trying to do one and they're both spinning, well, you just nip up uh, one of the uh, bottom brackets, it just holds it still enough that you can just weight it on one side, obviously then loosen that one, tighten that one, weight it on the other side, um, and it gets you somewhere close. So yeah, well happy. Um, it's probably gonna be me for the day, in Father's Day, etc. But that's the front mud guard. Um, 
not looking too bad. If I get a few minutes later on today, I might just take a uh, sanding wheel, sanding wheel, a uh, wire wheel, wheel with the uh, electric screwdriver and just break off what it is there. My intention on the inside is just to, you can just see it down there, it's just to hammer it black it. Um, for one, it's not seen. For two, it needs protection because all of this cat just comes up off the road. So um, thick, black, hammerite, smooth uh, underneath will just give it that protection where it's not particularly visible. Black's fine and there's no point messing around with it too much. Um, I'll strip as much of this as I can off that. Um, it's kind of been deactivated. It is. I mean, it does really want to come off, so uh, yeah. So at best, and I probably won't film it because it's going to be between other things, at best I'm just going to um, bang some hammerite on the inside of that. Um, I'm not going to mess around painting the outside of it yet until I've worked out what I'm doing um, paint-wise throughout. Um, I have got the side panels off at the moment as well. Um, and I am just rattling those, rattling, I am just uh, rubbing those down to get rid of the old paint uh, off there. Um, as a kind of mini project in the evenings so yeah um, forks off downside cleaner um, forks hills done bit of an epic um, but I hope you enjoyed the journey in the X Factor language um, yeah all good ah I haven't hooked the brake back on um, I won't because I'm going to order new bits um, new bits new brake pads um, uh, yeah, uh, and have a look at those pistons. I think, I mean, it works fine. Um, well, mechanically, it works fine. Uh, it's just need new brake pads anyway. And then I'm going to have to start thinking about buying the bullet and buying a new tyre for the back. But it's getting there. Hadn't started it. Really want to. Really shouldn't, because the exhaust is into the garret. I'm not going to bother. Uh, bro, well, the only bits for my shopping list, spark plugs already ordered, brake pads, must get those, look at the wheel. Cool, see you next weekend. <laughs>